It's time for our main event of the evening in Rome, Georgia, when worlds collide. Two juggernaut promotions, Conflict MMA and Valor Fights, putting together this unreal card. And it's capped off by these two top national prospects, Luis Pena from Missouri, Colby Wall from right here in Georgia, two young big time prospects collide in our main event to undefeated fighters and the vacant valor lightweight championship is on the line as well it's brought to you by the bratcher firm llc the beast the great who is going to stay undefeated and who is going to advance a career in unbelievable fashion casey there's so much on the line for these two big time national prospects yeah well i i said it before i don't know who to pick it's right down the middle 50 50 here a victory over that level of caliber opponent could propel these guys onto the highest level. All right, let's go to the cage. Get Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to join us directly following the event tonight at Rome City Brewing Company, where we will be handing out the fight awards, fight of the night, submission of the night, etc. But without further ado, who is ready for your main event? Your main event tonight is for the Valor Professional Lightweight title. Brought to you by the Bratcher Firm, LLC. First, please welcome to the cage, Luis Pena. Luis Pena, undefeated at 3-0. Coming in from the state of Missouri, a camp change, Casey, for Pena. Yeah, I spoke with him, and, you know, he said that he has been doing some work down the road. Uh, he hasn't completely severed, uh, severed ties with his camp, uh, and, and uh, you know, he continues to work hard. But, yes, uh, he definitely is representing a different camp here tonight. Now, that being said, the last time we saw him in action, he defied a lot of odds, at least in the eyes of, of the, the Tennessee region where he was competing. A lot of people had picked Damir Fahad to win that fight, and Damir came out with a head of steam as usual. But Luis Pena persevered, and he came back strong with the finish in round two. Really, really surprising. For people that haven't seen Pena, what yes. does he bring to the table? He has a complete, well-rounded game. A top-tier uh, high school All-American wrestler, state champion, tremendous jujitsu skills. He can leg lock, he can uh, upper body, he can spit you with the upper body submissions, triangles and arm bars, and the man can throw his hands. Professional boxer to boot. That victory over Demir Fahabagavich was back at Valor Fights 41. That was in March. His most recent victory was 8-2 as an amateur uh, and now 3-0 as a professional. Charismatic uh, in impressive fighter. Also tall at 6'3", Luis Pena first in the cage. Let's go back to Jennifer. And his opponent making his way to the cage. Please welcome Kobe Wall. Well, the compliments for Pena equal in a lot of ways for Kobe the Great Wall. Kobe Wall is 4-0 on a Striker FC TikTok BJJ in Dallas, Georgia. I mean, equal high-level prospect as Luis Pena, only in different regions. Tell us about Kobe Wall. Casey. Well, I mean, in a lot of ways, he mirrors, his, his career mirrors that of Luis Pena. He has a professional boxing career as well. He is amazing on the ground. He can do it all. And he is so popular here in Georgia. He is definitely the fan favorite. Luis Pena, the villain. And I think Luis Pena likes that a little bit. Take a look at the tail of the tape in our main event when worlds collide. Conflict MMA and Valor fights here in Rome, Georgia, and it's presented by the Bratcher Firm LLC. Luis Pena, four years younger than Kobe Wall, both on the money. You like to see that at 155 for this lightweight title bout for the vacant Valor Championship. Pena two inches taller. Kobe Wall with one extra victory, and both guys with a zero to the right of the dash. They are both undefeated, looking to stay that way. Kobe Wall 
undefeated as an amateur and as a professional case yes he has never lost in combat sports he has never lost he is an undefeated boxer as well this guy has done it the right way very very well groomed but he has also tested himself in deep waters people talk about conor mcgregor floyd mayweather with the mma fighter going into the pro boxing arena well colby wall just won his pro debut in boxing right Absolutely. Now, talking about both of these guys, they are the prototype for the future of mixed martial arts, the perfect build, that long, lanky range, and so well-rounded. I've got goosebumps, Vince. Gotta love the trunks on these two guys. Different look. Let's make it official. This Here's battle schedule for five five-minute rounds. First, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 155 pounds, holds a professional record of three wins with zero losses and fights out of Arnold, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Eagles Boxing Club in Hillsboro, Missouri, by way of Little Rock, Arkansas, Luis the Beast Pena. And his opponent across the cage to my left, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 155 pounds, holds a record of four wins with zero losses, and fights out of Striker Fight Center in Kennesaw, Georgia, and TikTok BJJ in Charleston, South Carolina. Kobe, the Great Wall. Your referee when the action begins is Northside Nate Mann. Nate Mann, our referee in our main event, presented by the Bratcher Firm, LLC. Luis the Beast Pena in the purple trunks. Colby the Great Wall in the American flag trunks. The vacant Valor Championship on the line in the lightweight division at 155 pounds. Pro MMA, five five-minute rounds. No touch of gloves. And we're underway and roll. Oh, here we go. Luis putting the pressure on early. Kobe Wall delivering that leg kick. Oh, big head kick right out of the gate here by Luis Pena. Again on the inside. Kobe Wall fires back, but he continues to be pushed back against the cage. Dangerous fighters. And I will say this, this may be the first time that Kobe Wall has ever been at a reach disadvantage. Oh, big oh. shot there by Kobe Wall. Just exploding on Pena. Man, this is fireworks already. Just one minute into this main event. These are two of the best prospects in the country, and they're on display in the main event here in Rome, Georgia. We're live on Flow Combat. Vince Ferrara, Casey Oxidine, Kate Sa. I will say this, Pena much more composed appears to be the face of Kobe Wall slightly flushed. Active jab by Pena. But I will say this, Pena has to watch. You will get things, these, these counters by Kobe Wall like that. It looks like he's backing up, backing up, and it explodes on you. Yeah. And again, this is the first time I've seen Kobe Wall have to face this type of reach and this pressure. And it is definitely a filling out process here. Oh, that, that shot lands, finds its mark. Pain is just so tall, open stance, long reach. Just Really a presence in the cage. Luis continues to get through with that jab. And again, the left hook, right kick counter by Kobe Wall. Diverse offense from Pena. And there you saw a switch kick there. Look at the inside yeah. leg of Kobe Wall. Yeah. Luis Pena continues to load up here. The footwork is just not there from Kobe Wall thus far. Uh. Over. Again, Pena utilizing that reach, making it difficult for Kobe to counter back. And Pena's getting through the guard. You mentioned it yeah. earlier, right? 
Yeah, Kobe really needs to get on those feet. He needs to maintain that distance. With his back up against the cage, it is going to be a tough night. Oh, big shots there. Firing back by Kobe. Not much lateral movement from Kobe, right? Yeah. I'm not used to seeing that. Well, again, you, you have the re reach disadvantage, but you also have the southpaw trick in Kobe Wall. And he is just so aggressive. Pena continues to chop down that lead leg. Wall, oh, that was a little blow. low. I don't know if Nate Mann saw it, but the reaction was there, so he's going to stop it. Pena will go to a neutral corner. Man. Corner giving it to Nate Mann. He hadn't made it over there to check on him yet. Corner can't do anything. Look at the replay here. See here. See more of the same here. Straight left, right. Oh, it was the leg that got through. Yeah. So it was a knee, and then the leg went up the middle. Yeah. But I will say this. Kobe Wall, as you mentioned, really needs to get on those wheels. He needs that lateral movement. He needs that footwork. Because if he keeps backing up, he is going to be a sitting duck, continue to be a sitting duck for Luis Pena, who is looking utterly dominant here. Well, and we've seen it from Kobe Wall early on, and you, you, you talked about it, Casey. Kobe Wall has the ability, even when he's backing up, to just suddenly explode on you and be very dangerous. Yes. But you don't want to rely on that, right? Right, absolutely. And in this case, his counters aren't getting through because Luis Pena is typically out of range. And if you will recall, Luis Pena has a tremendous chin. It's hard to catch him and drop him with one shot. Yeah, we saw that in the Demir Ferhabagovic fight. He yes, ate a lot of shots. Yes. And, boy, the, the movement of Pena, too, he's, he's just tough to track down. And on top of that... If Kobe decides to take it to the ground, he is going to have to battle against that wrestling prowess of Luis Pena as well. This guy is a top, top tier wrestler. Kobe Wall trains with BJJ Black Belt. Juan Guevara had a KO win in his pro boxing debut and mentioned that earlier. And a much different personality than Luis Pena. No touch gloves, apology, and we're back underway. Minute 25 left in round one. And here it is, more of the same Luis Pena asserting himself, closing that distance. You see a little mark under the right eye of Pena. Kobe Wall is taking plenty of shots. Yeah. Luis Pena, the hunter here at this point. And he gets the takedown. Kobe Wall noosed around his neck. Wall always a threat, though, from his back. Undoubtedly. Tremendous jujitsu. Kobe Wall has never lost in combat sports. Yeah, this is a tough spot, though, for Kobe Wall. Look at this, looking for that triangle choke, shucked off by Luis Pena. And now Pena advances yet again. Kobe just has not seemed to be in this fight from the start. Kobe possibly getting a reversal here. Final seconds of round one. Oh, and big. both men back to the feet. Now Kobe Wall. Oh. Firing back, takes a hard right hook by Luis Pena at the bell. And you see the cut there under the right eye, Luis Pena. Both connected on very uh, vicious uh, shots there late. Yeah, there in the closing moments, but I will say that Luis Pena has lived up to his nickname thus far. He is the beast. He has imposed his will thoroughly in this fight. Of course, both on the feet and on the ground. So that's two cuts, Casey. One under the right eye and one over the left eye. Pena, take us to this replay. Oh, there you see the big knee. And another big knee. 
by Luis Pena, and that, there it was. Yeah. I believe it was that elbow that landed to the left eye of Luis Pena. And then from there, the big left hook lands as, uh, as Luis Pena fires back and counters back with his right hook. You see Kobe on his feet. Will he come out with more, more skipping his step here in the second round? Luis Pena's last loss five fights ago, and that was back in 2015. Kobe Walls never lost in combat sports. Round two, scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Here in Rome, Georgia, live on Flow Combat. And look at the expression on the face of Luis Pena. And the takedown yet again. Now Kobe has him noosed up. Pena gets freed up. Yeah, but exactly. Pena controlling range so well getting in and out at his own discretion, making it a very difficult night for Kobe Wall. I don't like Kobe Wall on his back here. I think his best shot is, is on the feet in those exchanges. Pena always dangerous and sharp elbows too. If he can get in a position to stick one. And you see Luis Pena yeah. in no hurry here, imposing himself, running out the gas tank of Kobe Wall. Now Kobe looking for that heel hook. Luis Pena also very well versed in leg submissions. Mm. Elbows on Wall. Yeah, and he makes Kobe Wall pay for it. Dexterity of Pena is crazy. And here we go, looking for that leg submission yet again is Kobe Wall. But now Luis Pena with a heel hook of his own here. Oh. Wall is taking a lot of punishment in this fight. And I'll tell you what, that was a very strategic move to attack a, a heel hook of his own. That says a lot. And now Luis Pena advances to mount. Wow. Very tough spot for Kobe Wall. Wall gave up his back. The rear naked choke. This could be a done deal. Kobe Wall has never lost in combat sports. I have never even seen Kobe Wall push this hard. Kobe is not. Luis Pena utterly dominant. But Kobe Wall continues to battle. He stayed calm and he gets out briefly. But still, two plus minutes left in this round. Yeah, and three more rounds after that. That is a long, long haul. And Luis Pena just exquisite with his position. You notice when he does go after the armbar, he takes the top position. Still trying to get it. Oh, those elbows. Very, very solid shots there. But again, Luis Pena taking his time, working Kobe Wall with surgical precision here. And winning the round yeah, as well. Yeah, this is a tough spot. Kobe Wall is going to have to move here or he will get stopped. Full mount elbows. Yeah, those too. elbows are tough. Either eat them or give up your back. It's tough. And you're right, never seen Kobe Wall in this position before. Minute left. Taking all kinds of shots as Kobe Wall. Oh, straighten him out, look out. This is unbelievable, in fact, to see anyone work Kobe Wall like this. I've never seen this. And Luis Pena, he is just, I mean, he is not even really broken a sweat here. 
We tried to attack with a sub momentarily, but Pena shrugged that off. Bigger fighter. Kobe Wall has stayed confident, and if he can ride this out, maybe reset for round three. Yeah, I, I think he's going to have to keep it on the feet, and he is going to have to move. Yeah. He is going to have to assert himself. The question is, is there enough in the tank left to, to do that? Wow, and he eats four elbows to close out the round. Luis Pena not able to get the finish. Dominant in the first two rounds. Yeah, right? and this is the thing. Sometimes when, when you get the advantage, you see Luis Pena with the advantage, sometimes fighters, they get overzealous and they expend too much energy looking for that finish. Luis Pena is pacing himself. He's being utterly dominant and pacing himself and getting round after round after round in every facet of this fight. You see it right here. He had the back. He was looking for that finish with a rear naked choke, but he didn't. He didn't overexert himself. He didn't burn out those arms. If the finish comes, it comes. But he is confident that if Kobe Wall gets out there, he's got another place to go with. And I think he's thoroughly prepared to go five if he has to. The question is, does Kobe Wall have an answer? Yeah, Kobe Wall is going to have to approach the stand-up game, as you mentioned, different in his third and final round. Now, say this. Kobe Wall has never lost. He's incredibly tough. And we've seen fighters come back from down 2-0, seemingly on the scorecards, to win the last three and win a five-round fight. He'll have to do it to win this one unless he gets a finish. Absolutely. And Kobe Wall is an amazing competitor. He absolutely can do that. But he's going to have to get off the cage. He's going to have to assert himself. And he's going to have to do what, more than what he's doing right here because he is absolutely melting under the pressure of Luis Pena. Well, Casey, the, the round started just like the other two rounds were with Wall stepping back, taking the shot, and then getting taken down. Yeah, and I think right from the start, I don't know if something happened in, in, the, in the head of Kobe Wall, but he took a step back right out of the get-go, and I've never seen that from Kobe Wall. Kobe Wall's the guy that, that comes out and asserts himself with dominance. And you see it here, oh, Luis Pena piece. with an answer. And now Kobe Wall trying to fire back, but again, Luis Pena with the takedown. Kobe Wall possibly with an attack on that Kimura lock. He got back to the feet. Kobe Wall had a brief window, but those knees. And look at this, Luis Pena reversing the Kimura lock. really answering every riddle thrown out by Kobe Wall here. So attacking that arm, trapping the right arm of Wall. You see here Luis Pena, he looks for the submission. When it's no longer there, he advances on to the back. And then back to the Kimura yet again, and it's a done deal. Luis Pena moves wow. on, establishing himself as quite possibly one of the top 155 pounders in the nation, if not the world. Incredible performance by Luis Pena. That's another national top prospect that Luis Pena just beat that had never lost in combat MMA, and Luis Pena gets a dominant third round finish. But that's not what stands out to me the most. What stands out was how he did it from the start of the first round until the end. It was all Luis Pena. Kobe Wall never even got started here. Incredible. Uh, and wonder about that, how, how much of that it was Pena, how much of that was, was Kobe Wall. We hadn't seen Kobe Wall fight like that, but was it Pena that forced that? Well, I will say this. The fighting game starts with the mental aspect. And you can look at Luis Pena and know he never backs down. He tolls forward. He is such a presence inside the cage. I think the sky's the limit for this guy. I think that he could beat anybody in the world with that kind of pressure. And I will say, you always got to give props to Kobe Wall. He is a great competitor, and he will be back. But tonight, it is Luis Pena.
Well, Kobe Wall is not sticking around for the raising of the hand. Yeah. Kobe Wall has taken off. He quickly acknowledged the Pena camp, and he is out of here disappointed, certainly never experienced a loss in his career. To make it official, let's go to Jennifer. Your referee stops this bout at one minute and 40 seconds in round three. For your winner by way of Court Morris submission, and your new Mallard Lightweight Champion, Luis the Beast.